Okay, this is MCW Triple X here. I am going to show you today how to use Offzip and Packzip. Um, first, I would like to say that you need to put the save, not the con, in the root of the folder, meaning that it needs to look exactly in the same place as I have mine. The folder itself can be anywhere on the drive. Um, if you have problems with it being anywhere or you get errors doing exactly as I do then you just put it in on the root of your C drive um, I'm using Windows 7 Ultimate 32-bit edition but this should work for both 64 and any other version of Windows okay second I'm using the save and not the con for those who don't know the con is basically a archive and the uh, saves actual file so you need to extract the save from the con and there are multiple programs out there that do it you can use Mario, LaFluffy, Horizon, all kinds of stuff so let's go ahead and get started shall we first you want to double click the command dot bat that I made that will save you the trouble of having to manually type in run and all that crap and bring it up or do a keyboard shortcuts all you do is double click and it opens up right for you okay then you want to type in the following to use off zip okay if you want to just ex do a extraction search and then extract what it finds you do the following type in A that means it will search and whatever um, blocks it finds to um, unzip or unpack it will do it and it will add it to the root directory to put all the files into one you simply put dash and then one now we're going to um, tell the program exactly what file we want to unzip or unpack or decompress whatever you want to say and that is save game dot dat next you need to tell it where the folder is you can either type in wherever the folder is or you can just drag and drop it don't type it for the save game dot dat because if because sometimes it just won't like put it in there no matter what if the um, path is too long and then you need to tell it what offset to um, start from. I'm going to put zero. That means it's starting from the very front of the save and going all the way to the very end of the save. Okay, if you get any errors, it doesn't matter. Just You can go ahead and mess with the settings as much as you want. As you can see from right here, it's already found something and it's extracted it. Now, every little thing that it sees, you see on the command right now, it is putting it into one so if I didn't put that for that dash and then the one we would have thousands or hundreds and hundreds of blocks in here tiny little blocks and really freaking annoying to search through all of them as you can see it's finding little um errors but that's okay and we would have had 5,381 um blocks or files in here added if I didn't put that one that saves you a lot of time and trouble. Um, if you want to change the bit setting, you simply do this. It sometimes saves use different bit settings. By default, it's on um, negative 15 for the win bit. So let's say we want to do negative 8. You type in Z or dash Z and negative 8. Then you type in Then you type in the name of the file we're going to do. And then you just drag and drop your folder again, if you're lazy like me. And then you tell it to offset. Exactly the same, except I just messed up. Messed up, I messed up. Yeah, I forgot to add the on. Um, Y'all see what I forgot to add. Excuse me, I didn't get any sleep today. Z. 
8 then we're going to put it all in one block again and then save game dot that just drag and drop this bad boy in here and zero as you can see we're getting a whole lot of errors You can also do a positive um, win bit too. Just get rid of the um, the negative sign in front of the eight. Instead of putting a dash Z, I'll type it in here while we wait. Instead of doing this or this. do a positive you simply just do this and I'm just using 8 and 15 as an example you can go from 15 down and 15 up whatever I'm going to show you how to search in a minute as soon as this thing decides it wants to finish <laughs> That's a shitload of errors. Well, folks, for um, purposes of keeping the video in a short amount of time, I'm going to exit this, but you will still get a, a zip block because it's still finding me, as you can see. So whatever got an error last time is not getting an error this time. Whatever got didn't get an error last time is getting an error this time. That's why you just gotta mess around with it. You can always find random things. I found a whole bunch of things in Dead Space um, game save that is actually pretty interesting that no one's ever found, I don't think. Okay, now I'm gonna teach you how to search for blocks. I'm gonna type in off zip once again. And this time, instead of doing the uh, A, we're going to do an S. And then save game dot dat and everything else is exactly the same. Starting from zero. And of course it found what it was looking for. So let's see what happens when we type this in. see it's positive so we do 15 we'll do positive 15 and then we do a and then one and save game by the way you don't have to put the capital letters like I do it just force to have it command prompt doesn't give a crap if it's capital or lower well as long as the commands don't as long as, have any, as long as it just deals with the file and not the commands and specify that now we're going to type in our um, offset it found, which is 0, 0, 0, 3, zeros, 3, 3, 3, D8. And press enter. not getting anywhere near as much errors this time as we do with the negative oh here we go 
Now let's open it up and take a look at it. Look at that. Whee! Okay. Now to show you, go to the next video if you want to use pack zip. Try and keep them from separate videos. You can check my YouTube channel for the other one. I'll have a link in the description as well for the pack zip usage, which is pretty straightforward, but some people still might need help. If you go to the next video, see you there. If you don't, nice teaching you.